This tutorial is all about my full coverage flawless face routine. Let's get started, shall we? I always, always, always start with well moisturized skin. Makeup applies so much better when the skin is soft and supple, so lather that bitch up. Make sure you cover all areas including around the eye area. If this was a morning routine, I would be using my hands, but when I do makeup, I like to use my tools. Plus, brushing on moisturizer is way cooler. It's doing my work for me. Next, we prime. It's a crime not to prime, guys. So, when I want all day, all night lasting makeup, I always usually use the Hourglass Mineral Veil. It's oil free and mattifying and also it kind of creates a canvas for perfect makeup. What I also swear by is adding a mattifying cream to the areas you tend to get oily. If you don't get oily skin then I despise you. But if you do, girl I feel ya. I have tried a lot of mattifiers in my lifetime and this one is bomb. I'm also using the same face curve brush from Zoeva to apply all these products including my foundation. The love I have for this foundation is crazily immense. It's full coverage, long wearing and it's also luminous. I set it with powder of course as I would end up looking like an oil spill happened on my face. But all in all, I love how it applies and makes my skin look amazing. Yep, I know this colour doesn't quite match my skin on my face, but it does match the skin on my decolletage, and that's what I match my foundation to. The reason being that your face skin is totally different to your body and the pigment is much different. That's where foundation comes in and helps with colour correction. So you would have seen my recent videos that I apply my foundation with a synthetic foundation brush. Then I press it into the skin with a beauty blender. That way we have applied it to all areas of the face, then get rid of any brush strokes and harsh lines. Make sure the eye area is avoided because we want the least amount of product under the eyes where makeup tends to crease. When makeup gets in those crease lines, it ages you. For concealer, I usually go for ones that claim to be long wearing or 12 hour wear. This is the new long wear concealer from Motives and I really love it. With concealers that have this applicator, I tend to just use that to apply it but you can also use a concealer brush. Once you have applied it under the eyes, down the bridge of your nose and the middle of your forehead, just blend it out with the same sponge. To start off bronzing up my face and adding some life back into it, I use a darker shade cream foundation and I apply it to under my cheekbone, sides of my forehead and under my jawline. I apply this with an angled brush because I prefer the control over having all those lines drawn over my face then having to work so hard to blend in the product. Plus, I end up applying way too much than what I actually need. To blend it right into the skin, use that same sponge. With this step, I'm not contouring, I'm bronzing up the face. This acts as sort of a transition shade to the contour powder later. To set everything into place, and I mean everything, use a translucent powder and I'm going to heavily pack it on those areas I want to brighten or need extra setting power so that it's long lasting. 
for me, I do under the eye, the chin, nose, forehead, and that contour line. Now we wait 5 to 10 minutes. Usually I'd move on to my brows but they are already done so either scroll down Instagram or Snapchat your face or do your laundry. Do what you gotta do. I know I look bloody crazy but just wait till I dust it off. So that time has come and what I'm going to do is load up my brush with a pressed powder. I'm using Banana by Anastasia and just dust off that powder. What the pressed powder does is one, it adds coverage and two, it adds color so that in photos you don't have white triangles under your eyes in photos. Now if you don't dust off this properly as well, the powder that's still sitting on your face will show up in photos and we really don't want that. So now we contour and I'm using a grey cool tone base powder for this to mimic actual shadows on the face. Where I want to create the shadows is under the cheekbone and the sides of my nose. Um, I'm not creating shadows on the sides of my forehead because mine's not that large but if you do have a larger forehead feel free to contour that. So I'm focusing this brush right in the hollows and blending upwards. To add a bit more bronze to the face, I'm using Laguna by NARS and using that to go over the cream powder we put down before, so the cheeks and the forehead. Then I'm going back to the nose to contour down the sides. Not many people are a big fan of this, but when executed right, meaning blended the shit out of, it can actually look really nice in photos and shape your nose just like we shape our face. Before I highlight, I like to spray my face with a setting spray. This helps make the highlight look much more luminizing because the product sticks to the spray. I'm hitting the tops of my cheeks as it brings your face up and makes those cheekbones look sky high. I also hit just above the brow arch because if you turn to the side, not only will your cheek bone pop out, but also that forehead bone. In saying that, don't forget the brow bone either. Moving to the nose, I like to add the highlighter at the deepest point of the bridge in my nose. This creates the illusion of your nose having a nice curve. Then also the tip of the nose which makes it look like a cute little button. Adding it to the inner corner of the eye as well will brighten the eye and make it look more open and awake. Then also just hit the cupid's bow to make the highlight look more natural as the light will hit the nose and the top of the lip at the same time, bringing the attention to the middle of your face. For blush, I'm using a matte one and a fan brush to lightly apply it to the apples of my cheeks, then follow that bronzer we applied earlier to the back of the cheekbone. This will help all the colors melt into one and appear much more natural. 
And there you have my full coverage, flawless face routine. If you found this helpful and learnt something new, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment below. I always reply so don't hesitate. Also, hit the subscribe button for new videos like this one.